Ah, oh, Ben, come on in. G'day, mate. Uh, not interrupting anything? No, no, nothing important. Beauty. Hi, Jane. Hi. Chess, mate, I didn't know that was your game. <laughs> People can surprise you. What are you two doing inside on such a lovely day, anyway? We wanted to lock ourselves away. Yes. <clears throat> How's the footy? Oh, mate. Yabby Creek trounced them 34 to 8. Oh, great win. Couldn't have done it without Marshall, mate. Man of the match. You should have seen there's this one try. Listen, uh, down if the... you've come to gloat about the terrific footy I miss, Ben. Uh... Oh, yeah, no, I, I came by to give you your winnings, mate. You scored the double. Oh, all right. <laughs> Don't forget about squash tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow? Carly thought it was this afternoon. Well, Carly must have got it wrong. Yeah, must have. At least she was told about it. Yeah, I better, I better get going anyway. Carly's uh, cooking a surprise dinner for Pippa. I'll let myself out. Bye. Bye. Yeah, catch you, Ben. You're... Leave that sofa. I'll take it out later. Oh, uh, no, it's OK. I'll do it. No, no, it's only half full. Waste a perfectly good bin liner. Besides, wait till Carly's finished. There's always a few scraps even the chooks can't eat. Oh, the chooks. I should go and feed them. Oh, Sophie, I need you to give me a hand upstairs, OK? Well, I hope it tastes as good as it looks. Oh, it'll taste marvellous. Oh, well, how do you know it? Anything that I don't have to cook always tastes great. And <laughs> the sauce will be wonderful. Um, I should go and feed the chooks. Oh, no, don't worry. I gave them far too much this morning. Uh, is this saucepan going to be OK for your sauce? Yeah, that's fine, thanks. Now, is there anything I can do to help? Yes, Pippa, I want you to go and sit down, put your feet up and relax. You don't want me in your kitchen, do you? No, I don't. <laughs> Oh, Sophie, can you get that, please? I'm being a lady of leisure. Hello? Hi, oh, it's Carly there. It's Matt. It's for you, Carly. It's Matt. Oh, look, I'm busy. Tell him I'll call him back. She's busy. Well, is Pippa there, then? He wants to talk to you, Pip. Hello, Matt. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, Bobby asked me to call. She needs Carly to fill in at the diner. She's a bit crop Grant's taking her home. Oh, this is not fun at all. No, no. You'll be fine in a sec. Oh, no. no, because I know these things. Dr. Grant, Mitchell, MD. Liar. No, it's OK. I can hold the fort till you get here. Right. Now, Carly can leave here in about five minutes. Does Bobby want me to go over to her house? Just a sec. Pippa asked if you wanted to come around. No. No, it's OK. Really happy about this. Bye. Carly was cooking a special dinner for the family and everything. Oh, come on. Bobby wants you to go and fill in at the diner. She's not feeling very oh. well. Wouldn't you know it? Just to and I was feeling really pampered, too. Now, what time does the sauce have to go on? Oh, no, that's OK. You can do that, Kevin. Yeah, sure, no worries. Oh, that child has radar. You go and see him. I'll, I'll, I'll fix this. <laughs> I'm sorry about this, Pip. Oh, that's all right, Ben. It still tasted delicious even without the sauce. Oh, Carly's not going to forgive me that easy. Well, I won't tell her if you don't. Huh. No, I better come clean, which is more than I can say for this pot. Here, let me have a go at it. No, no. Tonight is your night off. You're not to lift a finger. Oh, don't be silly. It wasn't Carly's fault she had to work back. Now move over. Come on. All righty. Listen, Pip, about Soph. Yes? Do you think you might have been a bit hard on her? Do you think I was? Well, maybe just a bit. I mean, extra cleaning up and babysitting, that's fine, but being grounded for a week as well. I need to give us some discipline, Ben. Well, I'm not saying you shouldn't, but don't you remember what it was like when you first started dating boys? Maybe I was a bit hard on her. I'll get that. Summer Bay Caravan Park. No, she's not sorry. Can I take a message? Well, she should be back soon. I'm... Can I tell her who caught... Who was that? I don't know. Someone for Carly. Wouldn't say. His name just hung up in my ear. That's strange. Hi. How was the meal? Absolutely delicious. I ruined it. Oh, what? <sighs> don't listen to him. He didn't. I did. I burnt the sauce. I'm sorry. Hit me, strike me, make oh, me suffer. Oh, Ben. It was wonderful not to have to cook, so thank you both. Mm. Well, listen, I've been thinking. It's not fair that you should do all the work around here, so why don't we just go back to the old roster system we used to have? You know, that way we all know when we're available and what we have to do. 
All right, it worked okay before. Okay, well, I'll go and make some hot chocolate and then we can draw one. I will do it. You've been working. Well, thank you. And so you should, since you ruined my gourmet meal. And, uh, by the way, you should tell your boyfriend not to ring here. Your husband gets jealous. <laughs> what? Well, some bloke rang. Wouldn't leave his name. Hmm, I wonder who that would be. Uh, which night's you at Tech? Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. And the diner? Tuesday, Friday and Saturday during the night, and then Monday, Wednesday and Thursday in the day. That only leaves you Sunday free. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you won't be doing much of the cooking, will you? Well, I'll do the cooking. Oh, no, no thanks. thanks. <laughs> oh, right, eh? Who's going to do the cooking, then? <clears throat> well, look, I can do Sunday nights. No, no, you need one day a week off. Uh, look, I tell you what, why don't Sophie and I share all the cooking and you guys do the housework? All right. Yeah? Well, that means you can do the vacuuming on Tuesday mornings and you can help Ben clean the vans on Saturdays, which means you've got your whole Sunday free. Okay? Fine, Mummy. Oh, Ben, you won't forget the milk, will you? Oh, <laughs> That's probably your boyfriend again. <laughs> Hello. What do you want? I don't see why you're telling me. No, I'm sorry. Look, you might as well just save your breath. Who is that? Um, my father. Anything wrong? Yeah, my grandmother's sick. Apparently she wants to see me. How sick? Pretty serious, I think. Well, you better head up in the morning then. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Sweetheart! Look, I don't really care what's wrong with the people. I don't give a damn about my father or any of his family. Love. Okay, don't be late for lunch. I won't. Bye. See ya. Pally. Oh, thanks. Hey, fellas. You ready for the match of the decade? Ah, <laughs> you bet. Yeah? Grant's not here, huh? There he is. That's good. She's probably going to take the van. Yeah. yeah. What do you reckon? We'll have a few cold ones at the pub after? Yeah, I'd love to. If I'm still alive. Hey, you lot. Hi. Good Hi, Jane. Hi. Now, are you guys ready to be slaughtered? You'd be okay. joking, wouldn't you? You are coming to watch? No, I'm playing. Well, I didn't come here to knit. Let's, uh, let's do it, eh? Yeah, yeah, let's. <clears throat> Jane turned up. Now what I know? Grant must be starting to lose it. He can't go anywhere without his girlfriend tagging along. I'm quite surprised to see you here. Sorry to disappoint you. You didn't disappoint me. I, I, I didn't mean it like that. I, well, these are the nineties, after all. Uh, <coughs> women do play squash too. We really will have you and Carly over to dinner one night. That'd be great. I'll just make sure I give Grant enough notice so he can keep the evening free. Jane, it wasn't my fault I didn't work that night. I didn't say that. Well, you under wraps, buddy. That's just not bad. <laughs> yeah, what's the score? Seven all. Hey, going well, buddy. Got to tell you, mate, she's handling it. That sounds so surprised. Well, to be perfectly honest, I am. <laughs> yeah, me too. I thought it'd be a real drag. <laughs> Eight all. We playing advantage? First to nine, this is it, mate. Point. What? Penalty for obstruction. <laughs> yeah, it's your game. Hey, bad luck, buddy. Well done. Thanks, that was great. Any time. Oh, I don't think he's too happy. <laughs> well done. Oh, 
I'll see you down at the pub. Righto. Yeah. I thought we were going home. We always have a couple of cold drinks after the game. Yeah, but we're supposed to pay for bathroom, remember? Uh, <laughs> can wait an hour, can't it, Jack? Oh, can't. Uh, I guess you better count me out this time. Guys, I'll see you. Yeah, see you later, guys. <coughs> Talk about hand pecked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I can give you a lift home if you want. Nah, no, nah, it's okay. Sure. No, I, I feel like I'm not on the beach anyway. What is bugging you? Hardly said a word down at the pub. It's one of those moods, I guess. Mate, will you level with me? Jane and I had a bit of a blue last night. Far for the course, mate. All couples have them. No, nah, this is serious. It's because of squash. I knew I shouldn't have invited her. Anything I can do? No, no, no. We'll, we'll work it out. I just... I don't want to stuff it up for her. I mean, she, she's given up heaps to be here. You mean a job? Job, friends, the whole kit and caboodle. I owe her a fair bit, I suppose. Mate, if you want my advice, there's only one thing you can do. And that is be totally honest. If something's bugging you, tell her. If I told her what I was really thinking, she'd freak out. Tell her anyway. Geez, Carly and I nearly broke up because we weren't honest to each other. Yeah, but Ben, it might make things worse. Mate, it is the only way to deal with it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I shouldn't be dumping this on you. It's not your problem. Yeah. yeah I, I better get going. I got a few problems of my own. <laughs> right. Well, catch that. Yeah. Look after yourself. Obi, some of the name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Oh, I think I'm going to cry. If you don't quit mucking around, I'll, I'll kick you. Ah, uh, uh, Pippa, uh, Blaine and Karen came over to do some homework. Oh, so I see. Uh, would you mind doing that on the veranda? Yeah, sure. Come on, guys. Thanks. What is this? Get stuck into Carly Day. Carly, your grandmother may have made some mistakes in her life, but she's now a, a lonely, sick old woman who deserves some respect and forgiveness, particularly now that she's dying. Pip's right, darling. <laughs> if I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. I'm giving it anyway. Well, haven't you done anything in your life that you regret? Not like she did, no. Well, that's why she wants to see you. It's probably been eating at her for years. If she feels so bad, why did she wait until now to tell me? I'd say sitting on your deathbed has quite an effect on you. <sighs> Sweetheart, if you have any doubts at all about whether or not you're doing the wrong thing, please go and see her. This could be your last chance. And living with that feeling for the rest of your life. Oh, OK, I'll go. Now, can you both just leave me alone? Does anybody want any more? No, thanks. Not me. We'd better go upstairs, have a shower and get changed. I suppose so. Thanks for that, Pip. That was great. Oh, look, thank Carly. She cooked half of it. Uh, is it okay if I do the washing up later on? Why? Well, I've got to finish my play by tomorrow. Well, there's plenty of time for that after you've done the washing up. Won't be half as much fun without Blake to play Romeo, though, will it? <sighs> Not you, too. <sighs> you ready to go? I'll wait up for you. No, don't bother. No, I'd like to see how it went. All right. Now, you drive safely, all right? Yeah, I will. Hello? Oh, yes, they're just leaving now. Why? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Y yes, of course I will. Yes, thanks for calling. Bye-bye. Who was that? It was your father, Carly. Your grandmother died half an hour ago. Well, that saves us a trip then, doesn't it? These look great, Pip. 
don't get any ideas there for the diner. Private enterprise, I love it. <laughs> Breakfast! Morning. Morning. You okay? Of course I am, why shouldn't I be? I gotta go, I gotta meet Grant for a run. Okay, I'll save you some scrambled eggs. That'd be great. Thanks, Pip. Carly, why don't you sit down and bring me some juice? Where's Sophie? You are, uh, you, you pushed yourself today? Yeah, just uh, letting off some steam. Jane? Hmm. <laughs> you guessed it. So I guess things didn't go too well last night, huh? Well, we ended up screaming at each other again. Ah, oh, well, hang in there. Not suited, Ben. It's that simple. Mate, you've only been living together a couple of weeks. <laughs> That's what I keep telling myself. I, I feel like I've failed or something. No, oh, it'll work. It won't work. If I thought there was the slightest chance, I'd keep trying, believe me. So what are you going to do? <sighs> Break it off, I guess. There's no point kidding ourselves. Jeez, Jane will be upset. Yes. She's given up so much to be with me. God, I feel like a jerk. Ah, oh, let things lie. See how they go. Yeah, well, I know it'll happen. We'll end up hating each other. I mean, the only thing I can hope for now is that we can still be friends, you know? I don't want to blow that as well. So when are you going to tell her? As soon as I get home. I'm not looking forward to it either.